Hi guys, and welcome back to Miss Lori's Kitchen. Hi, I have got a recipe today that I've been wanting to do for a while because I absolutely love this dish. And I don't know why I don't make it more than I do. I guess because I know I don't need it. But uh, we're going to be making a comfort dessert today. We're going to be making apple crisp. And you can make crisp out of any kind of fruit. You can make it out of uh, cherries. You can make it out of blueberries, blackberries. Just any kind of fruit you got, it'll work pretty well. Uh, I remember in school we made a lot of apple crisp and a lot of cherry crisp, and that's because we got a lot of the big cans of uh, apples and cherries from Commodity. So we were constantly making crisp out of that, and they were so good. The apples I'm using today are apples that I had canned a while back and put up and I've got, there's about two pounds of sliced apples here. Now, just get you some apples, just as long as you got about two pounds or so, more or less, and slice them up thin. You can use a Granny Smith. Brayburn apples are a good uh, pie apple. Um, honey crisp. Any kind of good bacon apple that'll hold up good will be really good for your crisp. You can even go to the store and just buy you a can of apple pie filling if you want to. But you need at least, I'd say, about two pounds of apples, and that's what I've got here. But the first thing we're going to start on is we're going to start on our topping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with half a cup of uh, just regular, well, these are quick cooking oats. But you can use old-fashioned oats if that's what you got. It'll work with either one. I like using the quick cooking oats because they're just smaller where your old-fashioned oats are a bigger oat. But you can use that. It'd be just fine. And I've got a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. I've got a half a cup of brown sugar. And you can use a dark brown sugar. I keep both usually, but I'm out of my dark brown sugar. But I just really like the, the dark brown sugar because it's got such a, a deep molasses flavor to it. And it's really good. So just stir that up. You know, crisps come together pretty fast. So if you need a fast, good, you know, dessert to come out and uh, put you some ice cream on for a guest or something. It's it's a quick, easy dessert, especially if you got canned apples. You don't have to stand there and cut the apples. Any kind of canned fruit, it'll come together pretty quick. Let's see. I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I wanted to be able to give y'all a, a recipe because most of the time I just would throw this together. So... I wanted to have a recipe, so that's why I keep looking over here to make sure of my recipe. And I also have a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, some people have asked me, Lori, can I just use uh, self-rising flour in place of the all-purpose the salt and baking powder? And yes, you can. You sure can. So that's all the dry ingredients for your topping. But now we've got, this is just a little over five tablespoons of cold butter. Kind of like if you were making a pie crust. And you can cube it up. You can uh, grate it with your grater, whichever you want. And you're just going to cut this into your, to your oats and your flour mixture. You can use a fork. You can use your blending fork like I've got here. And I can tell you, I have always found that I can do this faster with my fingers. And my hands are clean. Besides, it's just me and Mr. Brown that's going to be eating it. So Now, if I was at school making this, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't use my fingers. Okay, now all we're going to do is get our apples mixed up. So what I've got here is I've got three tablespoons of melted butter. You can use salted or unsalted, whichever you prefer. Then I've got, let's see, three tablespoons of water, just room temperature water. 
and I've got a tablespoon of lemon juice. I've got a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see, I've got a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. I've got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. A pinch of salt. And I've got two tablespoons of just all-purpose flour. So we're just going to get that all blended up. And then we're just going to uh, stir our apples in. And this is what's going to sweeten your apples and uh, thicken it up a little bit as it cooks. Um, I, there has been times that I had, in fact, at school, we didn't put lemon juice in it. Uh, of course, we use canned apples, too. So, if you don't have lemon juice, the recipe is going to work. But a lot of times, I'll just cut up some apples that I have left over and make a crisp. So, I, I try to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. So, now I'm going to put in my two pounds of sliced up, thin sliced up apples. And you know, to tell you the truth, I've had these canned for a while and I cannot remember what kind of apples these are. I'll have to go back and look at my video to, to know, remember what apples I used. Too much water's went under that bridge. I tell you, life is pretty busy, you know, especially now school's starting. Of course, we work all summer, but it's you know it's not the same so we will be going back in a little over a week so I got my apples all mixed up in that sauce mixture so now all we're gonna do is this is the measurement of this pan is an eight and a half by eight and a half it's not a true eight by eight but an eight by eight will work with this recipe and I've even uh, use this recipe for a nine by nine baking dish so it'll work but i buttered my my baking pan and you can just spray it if you use spray and we're just going to dump our beautiful apples and all that sauce in here i've got my oven heating at 375 Now we're just going to take our crumble mixture, and I think I'm going to bring y'all up closer so y'all can see what the top looks like. Okay, all we got left is to put our crumble on top. And you want to make sure that you cover your whole area. And there's something else you can do too. You can put nuts in your on top of this. You can put it in with your your crumble topping. Oh, it's so good. Put pecans or walnuts. It's just another thing to make it just over the top. I didn't get my walnuts out of the freezer, so I wish I had it now that I think about it. But this is quite a bit of topping. And I can tell you, that's my favorite part of this whole dish. So I like that I've got a good helping of topping on, on this crisp. So that's all there is to it. We're going to put it in the oven. 375. Sorry about that. I'll just put that in y'all's face for 30 to 35 minutes. And then we're going to bring it out. We're going to see how pretty it is. It, now, it needs to be good and golden brown. Just be careful not to burn your top. And uh, we're going to serve it up with some vanilla bean ice cream. So let's go get it in the oven. Okay, I just went out and got it out of the oven. And it's still hot. But look how good that looks. Smells wonderful. It's good and golden brown kind of crunchy on top way well, I like it so I'm gonna get me a little bit out of this corner 
Now y'all, I'll probably be ashamed of myself because Mr. Brown's not here to taste this while it's still hot. So I don't know how he's going to feel about that. But you know what? Somebody's got to do it. So I'm going to get me just a little bit of this vanilla bean ice cream. Bluebell all the way. And there's nothing fattening about this at all, I can tell you. So don't even worry about the, the calories and the carbs. So let's sit down and taste it. Okay, we're gonna sit down and taste this. And when Mr. Brown gets in from work, we'll tell him how good it was. Oh, he'll get some. But you know, it's always better when it first comes out of the oven. I'm really excited. Not had this in a while. It's so good. I don't know why I don't make this more often. It's such a good, warm comfort food, that's for sure. But guys, I hope y'all like this recipe. Old-fashioned apple crisp, you can't go wrong. It's easy to throw together, and it's just so good. You can double this recipe, you can triple it if you're wanting to feed a bunch of people. But anyways, make it. I think you'll like it, and uh, y'all have a, a good rest of the week, and we'll see you probably in a day or two. So God bless everybody.